come back for this year. What, what was that like? And I'm uh, sure pretty exciting to, to find that out. Yeah, no doubt. Um, probably, like I just told uh, the guy over here, is probably, probably the most exciting as I've ever heard. Um, Coach called me uh, one day during the summer because I kept I was constantly nagging him like yo like what's the word what's the word and he was like oh next week next week and sure enough he called me one day he's like hey we got the news and I was like what is it he was like we got it and I was like yes so I uh, mean excited to compete for my team and my, my family once again were you optimistic through that time or was it hard to keep your spirits up with being uncertain like that or what was that time like for you um it was it was like up and down you know like one one week I like at first. The, the, like when as soon as they got it in, I was like, all right, it's gonna, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. But then after a while, it's like, you know what? Maybe they're just delaying it because they don't want to tell me yet. But um, I mean, stay strong, and God gave it, God, God gave me another chance. Is it? Yeah, I mean, it must feel like that. How is what's been, what's it been like afterwards? Then knowing you know that you got a new breath of life almost, you didn't to come back and have one more year of college. What what was it like uh, after? And how have you kind of approached? Uh, it's just completely. Like after he gave me the news, I just told him I was like, you know what? I, I'm yeah, going to yeah, do. Uh, whatever it takes to be a national champ, any and everything you tell me to do, I'm going to do. Um, this year I'm just working on being like a, a better kid rather than trying to be a man that knows everything. You know? um, for me it's just been just starting all over, like just like a start from ground zero and work my way up. Technique wise, what are some things that you know, you wanted to maybe improve on or correct um, from last year? Um, of course what everybody knows from getting out the bottom and of course riding, getting more riding time. Um, Work a lot, working a lot in my individuals with Angel and uh, Ian Parker, so things are things are looking a lot better. Um, you've never not had success attacking, but one thing that does slow you down a little bit is when guys are wrestling with a hand on the mat. Is there anything you're working on to try to get more offense on when guys are wrestling super defensive? Yeah, uh, of course. Like again, in my individuals, we're working on things to just move move guys around. And uh, I just can't wait to show you guys what I've been working on. What do you got to do to get him out of the hand? I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you in a couple of weeks. <laughs> uh, what is your impression been of the freshmen that are coming to the program? Obviously, highly talented group, uh, high ranking as a class. So, what have you kind of seen from those kids? So uh, these kids are horses, you know. Like honestly, you can't even take you can't take any of them lightly. They're just as strong as us. They're just as competitive, you know. Like um, they knew that they know they're new to the uh, to the program, so they know they have to. They feel like they have to prove something, and they really don't have to prove anything to us. Uh, for Day one that they walked into the wrestling room, we knew that they were going to be a great, great group, especially at the Fargo with uh, five or six national finalists. So they, they just showed us right away, like, hey, we're going to have to work or somebody's going to lose their spot. You're one of only a few teams to return three All Americans. What are your expectations as for the team? Uh, of course, like everybody else in the country, national champs. We don't, they, we don't uh, step down to anybody. We won't expect anything less. So every year going into the season, we expect to be national champs. Does this year feel different just because of all the pieces you have? And the kids that are coming in, not necessarily that they'll contribute in the 10 right away, but if, just think about where maybe the, the team was four years ago to where it is now. Does it feel quite a bit different? Oh, definitely, especially like when you're one of the older guys now. Like I remember when I first got here, looking at Bikaiman and Mike, and it's just like, now I'm in that spot to where I'm like looking at everybody else and I'm like the mentor and things like that. So it's a lot different. Um, these guys, these kids honestly work so hard. Everybody in this room works so hard. And it's just, I'm excited to see what we, what we do at Cyclone Open. Like I'll, I wouldn't be surprised if we have uh, Cyclone versus Cyclone in the finals. I can't imagine going to South Dakota even with me, Leland, and uh, Gabe probably missing out. I'm excited to see what these guys are going to do because everybody competes, everybody works hard, and it's just going to speak for itself. All right. Thanks, sir.